Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm just doing a little guide on how to get Dragalia Lost on Nox and how to get it to work. Credit for this method goes to Supersonic159, a Reddit user. However, he was using an emulator called LD Player, and we're going to be doing this on Nox, so it is a little bit different. So first up, obviously, is to get Dragalia Lost. If it's not available in your Play Store, then you can go to apkpeer.com and download the APK there. And once you have that installed, it's there. Cool. Don't open it yet. So I decided to just start with a fresh install of Nox, so everything should be pretty much the same uh, settings-wise. So next step is to go into Settings after you install Dragalia Lost. Go to Apps, Google Play Services, disable it, disable. If it asks you to go back to the factory version, just hit OK. Uh, go back, still in settings, go scroll down to location, turn that off. Make sure you are not rooted in settings and try launching it. So when you first start it up, you will get this error message, enable Google Play Services. Just click anywhere besides enable, like off this screen, and it should go away after two taps. So once you're actually in the game, if you have already been playing on phone or tablet or whatever, make sure to link the Nintendo account. If you haven't created one, then make sure to create one, because I believe this is the only way to get your account on. I created one just a little while ago, so we're going to try that here. So once you sign in, it says game data has finished transferring, I will close it and accept all that and we're gonna wait till all the download stuff gets done so you can actually see in game that it does in fact work. So I already did this before I started recording and I do want to say that if you're gonna go this route I would have like a dedicated emulator just for Dragalia lost because once you disable Google Play services then it became a hassle to get them back and go back into the Play Store and if you have to disable that every time you want to play then it's just going to be annoying. Thankfully with most emulators including Nox you do have the option just to create another one and have that one dedicated to Dragalia. Alright so we're just at 100% now, let's see. And here we are, in game. Alright, pretty cool. Like, we can do a little run real quick just to kind of show. And alright, here we are. So, customizing like, uh, mouse and keyboard might be a little bit weird for this game. So, I'm not sure if it might not just be better to, uh, use just the mouse. Maybe you could set up something like with a PS4 controller or so. But yeah, I kind of like the way it plays a little bit more on an, an actual tablet or phone or whatever. So probably I'm just going to be using the emulator when, when I'm recording so I can get the in-game sound in. Because finding a recorder that also captures the in-game sound is nearly impossible, if not impossible. But yeah, I guess that'll do it for this little guide. If it doesn't work for you, make sure to drop a comment down below and um, me or someone else can do our best to help you. But yeah, that'll do it. Thanks guys, as always, for watching. And until next time.